Jesus is King. Brethren in Christ, Latter day to Jesus Christus in Sequela. This is Timothy Flanders, the meaning of Catholic. Welcome to the Guild Family Stream. This stream is for Guild members only, where we talk about all the most controversial topics. Today we have a very spicy show for you today. Uh, first, St. Martin's Lent versus Advent. Two, is the participation of the new Mass intrinsically evil? The agreement signed by Lefebvre 1988, the Church needed Vatican II from the East, which goes into the permanent diaconate, as well as women in government, leadership and teaching positions, and to top it all off, witchcraft and, ma and magic, if we have time. And as always, your comments, questions, objections throughout the show. If you've never been to a Guild stream, you can uh, chat in at any time. Your comments, thoughts, this is just an open conversation um, between me and Guild members. As always, not everything said here reflects the opinions of other hosts at Meaning of Catholic. What we're going to do is we'll we'll release the few first 5, 10, 15 minutes of this to the public just for the sake of promoting the guild. This whole apostolate is supported by you, the guild members. So we thank you for your support. Uh, I wonder if I can get better light if I turn slightly. I'm in the library uh, right now, so... I guess it's pretty pretty good right there um and i'm sorry the audio is a little bit crappy too because i have to go on my uh, macbook audio um, speaker but without further ado here we go so basically uh, first of all saint martin's lent versus advent everybody should know advent is the first the the four sundays preceding christmas this year we have a very long ad i think it's the longest advent possible because christmas uh, happens on a Sunday this year. So um, because typically Christmas will fall sometime within that final week. But um, so there's an ad. So the Advent is the liturgical season in the Roman Rite, which begins the, fir the uh, fourth Sunday before Christmas. That's when the, the color turns from green to purple. And then in the Greek Rite, there is also an Advent, but it is called the Nativity Fast. And the liturgical color is actually red, not purple. And the Nativity Fast begins, I think it's November 15, after the St. Philip uh, Feast Day in the Byzantine Rite. And there's a fast that goes all the way up to Christmas. Now, the Western Rite also did have a similar fast in different locations. It was it was a local custom. not It would never really became a universal custom in the West. So there were various local customs of fasting up to Christmas. And one of these is the St. Martin's Lent, which happens after Martin Miss. Today is Martin Miss in the Roman Rite, November 11. The, 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 um, this is Catholic Thanksgiving. This is the, the whole trend, tradition of uh, American and Canadian Thanksgiving comes from Catholic Thanksgiving, which takes place on Martin Miss, November 11. Um, and so that's today. Uh, now, in modern times, it's uh, Veterans Day in the United States. It's Remembrance Day in the um, UK and the Commonwealth. It's uh, Armistice Day in continental Europe because all this commemorates and remembers World War I, which ended on Martin Miss 1918. Okay, so uh, if you're in the Fellowship of St. Anthony, we are committing to further penance for Advent. So... Um, Tier one is an ad is beginning with the Roman rite of Advent, uh, so four Sundays before Christmas. It's just fasting and doing penance Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday every week. And then tier two is optional. That is that begins on uh, tomorrow. Actually, it begins. That's the tier two option. Uh, so fellowship fellowship of Saint Anthony. That is the difference. Saint Saint Martin's Lent versus Advent versus Saint Philip's fast or the Nativity fast. Uh, when I was Eastern Orthodox, we always called it the Nativity Fast. So uh, if you've never fasted before Christmas, it is really uh, an immense um, spiritual benefit. So I really encourage you uh, to do some kind of fasting to prepare yourself for this sacred and great feast day of Christmas. So 
So let's continue. I think so. We'll, what we'll do is we'll talk about the new mass controversy with some of your comments. Um, let me just I'm going to read these comments and then um, we'll close the public portion of this broadcast and we'll get into all the spicy topics. So Brenda says this. I would love to see a debate on whether or not the new mass is intrinsically evil, which is the SSPX view and a sin for a traditional Catholic to attend, except as an observer in a family wedding, etc. Or is it just inferior and more prone to abuse? This debate was held in written form between Father Peter Scott, SSPX, and Michael Davies, who held the latter view. I believe this question is dividing the, is the dividing line that keeps Catholics from uniting the clans. Now, we had another comment from Mark, who said this. Jesus instituted the priesthood at the Last Supper for the Twelve Apostles and ordained them to lead the one holy Catholic apostolic church. And he authorized St. Peter with binding and loosing powers. Division in the church can only be resolved by the Pope and the hierarchy of the apostolic church as Jesus Christ ordained it to be so. Debates are interesting and can be helpful, but the meaning of Catholic without authoritative teaching is meaningless. Whatever an SSPX priest or layperson says, they have the authority to claim what is valid and licit sacramentally. And to assert that a sacrament is evil is irresponsible at best. So, um, that is the end of our public portion. So we'll cut this off um, and the rest of it will be for guild members only.